What's up guys? So in this hobby of trying to add to my video game library with Nintendo and Super Nintendo games physical media, I'm always looking for different ways to get more games. I've been to the retro game stores and I've been online using eBay or I've taken a look at Craigslist or other sites like that. I recently found out about a company who has an actual monthly delivery service on retro games. They've been around for a while, but I only recently heard about them because this is a new hobby for me. I saw that Steven from the Tech Buzz subscribed to it, so I followed suit. What I have today is the Retro Game Treasure box, and I've been seeing a few videos on this recently, doing some investigating into it to make sure how much it costs and things like that. You have some people that enjoy this service and some people that aren't so happy with it, but I love mysteries, I love being surprised, I love surprises, so I love the idea of this. I'm kind of concerned about what I'm going to get because, you know, I don't like to spend money without actually knowing what I'm spending my money on. And the service is actually pretty cool. You make a list of the stuff that you're looking for, a list of games, and you make a list of the systems that you want to get games for. You can also get accessories and even imported games. You can even select what genre of games you're interested in. And it has a spot where you can add the games that you already have so you don't get duplicates. And that I thought was a really good idea. It's not the cheapest to sign up. For one month, you can get between three to five games, $35 plus shipping. It's a bit of a gamble because I'm not expecting to get any high profile games on here. There's no way they're, you're going to get the really expensive rare games with this. You may still come out on top, but I have a feeling that's not going to happen every month. So what you're really paying for is the mystery and the surprise. If you like surprises, this will be something good for you. Since I love this kind of stuff, I figured I'd give it a few months to see what I get if my money's really worth spending on it. I have not opened this yet. The tape is still intact. So we're gonna grab Betty, we're gonna open this up, we're gonna find out together what I got for my first mystery box. As always, thank you, Betty. One last thing before we pop this open, I selected nine different systems I can get games for. Game Boy, Game Boy Color, GameCube, NES, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Sega Genesis, and Super Nintendo. Depending on what I get in this box, I may end up changing those settings because I have all those systems, but I'm not so interested in getting PS3 games as much as like Nintendo or Super Nintendo or Game Boy games. All right, so let's have a look. And also, I really love this packaging. I love that it's a little treasure chest. I think that looks so cool. We've got bubble wrap. I'm not even gonna look. I'm just gonna grab. I feel a Nintendo game, our first one. They actually got a game I was looking for on my list. This is crazy. So the first game we have for the NES, TNC Surf Designs. I used to love this game as a kid. I would play it all the time. I remember renting it a lot. I'm playing the music of the skateboard stage in my head right now. It was a pretty hard game. I never beat it. I don't even know if you can beat it, but man, do I remember the, the soundtrack and the gameplay. The gameplay is easy and fun. And this one was on my list, so I'm already happy time to move on so yeah i feel two more in here so these are going to be disc based these are in big dvd cases what do we got oh oh for the playstation 3 we have borderlands 2 i've never played this and i really like first person shooters i played the first one a lot on pc i never got really far with it i didn't play multiplayer but i thought the design the aesthetic of these borderlands games were great so i'm really happy with this one this is a really really cool series I think we have one more. Ooh, maybe two. Okay, one more disc game. Let's see what we got. Ooh, another PS3 game. Never played this. Never played anything in the series. Crisis 2. I don't know much about this game, except isn't there some kind of meme that, you know, is your PC good enough to play Crisis? Apparently the PS3 is. I know nothing about the Crisis series, but I remember it looked nice by EA and Crytek. It says, be strong, be fast, be invisible, be the weapon. You have some kind of nano suit, 6v6 multiplayer. I wonder if the multiplayer still works on PS3. Probably not, I don't know. I think we got another pretty good pick here. This was greatest hit, so it must have sold well enough. And apparently I was wrong. There's one more game in here. It was wedged at the bottom. It's another disc game. I felt in there and I heard that, so that's how I knew there was another game in here. Last game in the box. I used to have this game on PS2. Oh, I played this a lot in college. I really, really like this game. So our last game in our box, Motor Mayhem. Wow, this really brings back memories. I played this all the time with my roommates in college. It's a car combat game like Twisted Metal, but not as dark. I guess if I had to compare it 
to Twisted Metal. If Twisted Metal was like Unreal Tournament, like real dark and gritty, Motor Mayhem is more like Quake 3 Arena, or like a little bit more bright. Still car combat, but not as dark. Lots of bright colors, flashy effects. Really, really fun, solid game. Actually, is this complete? It's complete. Has the manual and everything. I wasn't expecting that at all. Everything looks like it's in good condition. And there are no scratches on this disc at all. Oh, and I did not mention that both of these PS3 games are factory sealed, never been opened. Here's the whole lot. I'm not mad at all. I think these games are really great picks. The only one that I'm kind of on the fence about is Crisis 2, and that's only because I've never played it. I don't really know this series, but it's gotten praise from people before, so I'm not mad about that. The Borderlands series is a lot of fun, so I can't wait to check that out. Motor Mayhem would be a lot of fun to play again. And of course, on my wish list, we got TNC Surf Designs. That's crazy. And all this for $35. Now, I don't know if they're valued at $35. We'll check that at the end of the video. But for interest factor, uh, surprise factor, they did really good with this box. I'm really happy with these picks. I think because it's a retro game treasure, a lot of people don't add PS2, PS3, GameCube games on their list as much as they want, like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis. And there's only so many of those games they can put in these boxes value-wise. But there's a ton of, you know, PS3, PS2 games that are cheaper because they haven't raised in price like the older games were. So if you have those on your wish list, I bet you'll get some gems like these. That's it, another game collecting video down. Can't wait to see what happens next month. If I keep getting a lot of PS3, PS2 games, then I may tone those down a little bit because you can make corrections every month. What did you think about the retro game treasure? Have you tried them out before? Is it something you would be interested in? I'll have a referral code in my description if you want to give them a try. That's all I have for you guys. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. This is the part of the video where I thank those users who support the channel through YouTube memberships and Patreon. Jordy Alex, Rick67, Travis Morton, John Westby, Mike Muniz, Sam Torres, Yaroslav Orudzov, Dor, Andre G, Den Cardoso, Jason Hallbrooks, Magnesium Winterjuice, Craig Livesley, Geode, James Burkhart, Eric Sandberg, and Batman.